Bennett up the middle, and again, they carve up that defense straight on. Brown makes the tackle, but a first down, Minnesota 11-yard gain. I know John will agree with me on this. There's nothing more demoralizing for a defense when somebody's running the ball downhill at you right up the gut. I mean, right up the gut, and you can't stop them, and that's what's happening right now. He well, just went over 100, uh, 2,000 yards here today for his career. Group, you know, they have a great running back tradition here at the University of Minnesota. And uh, just to be included in that group, it means a lot. You know, it means a lot for me, a lot for my family. And like I said, it means a lot for this team just to see how we progressed over the last couple of years and show that the, that, that the tradition hasn't graduated or the tradition hasn't left the program. So to really have that underneath my belt is a great accomplishment. As I told Dewan Bennett and I told everybody in the locker room, I, that kid, Showed a tremendous amount of character. He found the ball on the 25-yard line. He's frustrated as heck. And then he came back and ran like a man possessed. And that's what, we're, to be honest with you, we need more kids that learn to fight back through adversity. Sometimes we, we have some youngsters make a mistake, and they can't get over it, and they make another one and another one. And then that's how you get into, you know, having some bad plays out there. And, uh, you know, I think uh, Dewan taught us all something today. He messed up, goes back in and plays as hard as he can play, and that's what growing up's all about. That's what life's going to be all about. He's going to learn that as a life lesson because when he gets to be your age and sitting in that chair, there's a lot of other problems just besides a football game in here. And hopefully he'll battle back and handle that adversity like he did today because he handled it well. He didn't sit over there and pout or anything of that nature. He took the challenge and, and uh, you know, made the best of it. Oh, uh, You know, it's a great accomplishment, but that's something that's not done alone. That's something that the O-line helped me with, something that the offense helped me with, something that the coaching staff helped me with, you know, just teaching me on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, my reads, what I'm supposed to do, what cuts I'm supposed to make, and then the O-line making their particular blocks. You know, it means a lot, you know, as an individual, but I still look at it as a team success. I'm just trying to leave a good message for the other backs, you know, showing them how to run the ball and how to, how to use that momentum that, that we gain and how to run with intensity, you know, just trying to be a mentor as my days final down because, you know, I, I told him at the beginning of the season, you know, I'm done after this year, so I, somebody has to take the torch. Somebody has to take take over this position, so it's something that I hope that I just, just instill in the younger guys and not necessarily trying to look at it and say I'm the way or anything, but just to teach them little tactics and little things that they can do to get better.